Hey guys, Buffy Game Bad today bringing our video and today for our Modern Warfare's weapon conversion series we're covering the new sniper rifle here for season one, the Cadex Defense CDX 50 Tremor, chamber to 50 BMG. This one particularly is designed for military and law enforcement with a 20 inch barrel. So let's go ahead and show you the conversion here for this weapon. We'll show how it looks in game versus real life and go into the firing range and gameplay. So here's the final design for the Cadex Defense CDX 50 Tremor. Really sleek, nice looking gun. Go ahead and back out. And this particular weapon, how you get this, you can see the XRK Stalker is available here in the Battle Pass for Season 1. So if we go ahead and go over to the Battle Pass, you can see it is available here in A4, Section A4. So when you come in, up to A4, you get right there the XRK Stalker. So let's go ahead and back out. Go back over to the weapon itself. And Gunsmith. So you can see the final design. Let's go ahead and break it down to the base weapon here, the XRK Stalker. Go to the Gunsmith. So the first option here, this is chambered in many different calibers in real life. So for this one, we're going to be running the 20-inch barrel, which again is mainly for military and law enforcement. So I believe, again, the barrels aren't labeled. It comes in a 29 and a 32 inch also in real life. So for this weapon, we're going to be going with um, the short barrel, the, the Handler LKP short barrel. Um, there's another short barrel here for sprint to fire speed. You can see the differences there. Um, this would be better for bullet velocity. However, this one blocks the muzzle device, I believe, which is the only reason we're not doing it. So this is not, again, not the best build. That you would want but this is going to be a more real life weapon conversion replica of what it looks like so we have that then we have for the muzzle so this is a this is a cool one here the muzzle is a very interesting uh device that they have on this thing so it's going to use an X mx1 muzzle brake in real life so if we scroll over there's two different options here that would work for this you have the cassis break xl i guess three um the cassis break xl and then you also have this one here, the Legion Fire Comp. So these both kind of look very similar to the MX-1 break that the, tre the Tremor uh, has on it. You can obviously swap this out for whatever, but this is just a, the particular break that we're replicating. I'm going to run with the Cassis Break XL. This one looks more accurate versus the other one. So it's going to give us the horizontal recoil control and the firing aim stability. The con is the aim down sight speed. So we'll go ahead and select the Cassis Break. Underbarrel option, we're going to go ahead and throw on a bipod there. So we're going to use the level aim bipod. Now, unfortunately, you don't have um, the bipod that you'll see in the photos here in game. But again, you could go ahead in real life, put on any type of bipod. So they're going to do this one in uh, real life looks different than this. But we're going to go with the level aim bipod, throw that on there. Then we're going to go with the uh, stock option. So for the stock option, the one that you want to replicate the real life version here is going to be the TAC 840C stock. It's going to give you aim, walking speed, movement speed, and sprint to fire speed on this, as well as you can see here. Now, in real life, it's an adjustable stock. You can see the recoil is not going to be helped out here, but we have the brake and everything like that. Plus, it's a one-shot sniper, so it's not like you really need sustained recoil for automatic fire or anything like that. This is the closest one, I believe, to the real, the real life stock, although... A lot of these are very, very close. Uh, this one also is a very, very good option. Typical Call of Duty, they do a mix and match. So really, the combination of these two would be what we want. But for this one, we're going to go with Attack 840C for aim, walking speed, movement speed, and sprint to fire speed. Cons are aim, idle sway, and gun kick control. Go ahead and select that. And then you can see we have a bolt option. Same bolt. We have a quick bolt for rechamber accuracy and speed. You have rear grip options, so for the rear grip option, we're going to go ahead and run here with the Bruin Lynx grip. It's going to give us flinch resistance and aim idle sway, with the con being aim walking speed. So we'll go ahead and select that. And th again, this is just, again, you can see the, the grip on this, the base pistol grip is not correct. So that's why we're, we're selecting this one here. The Bruin Lynx looks closest to the one that you'll see in real life that comes on this weapon. And that's our final design. This is the Kdex Tremor 50, chamber to 50 BMG with a 20 inch barrel for 
Military and law enforcement, again, is available in a 29 and a 32 inch barrel for increased bullet velocity. You have those options here in game also. But this is a nice little build here. I, I really like this compact looking weapon, 250 BMG. Again, you have the bolt action there. You see the bolt and the rechamber on the right hand side. Um, just a really nice weapon. The buttstock, you have really nice buttstock options. You can see the magazine ejection right there in front of the mag. Pick rails on all four sides. And you also have kind of a key mod M lock mix there. I'm not sure if that's something new that I'm just not remembering what that is. Most likely it's a Call of Duty mix match. But again, really nice looking weapon. I, I really like the way this thing looks. It's a really clean looking, looking gun. So let's go back out, look at this in the firing range. And again, with this muzzle brake on it, the Cassis brake, it just looks beefy. Really clean gun. See how it is here. Not utilizing the bipod. Again, and this is, we'll go ahead and just utilize the bipod here. Put the bipod up. And you'll see in the gameplay, you're gonna be using it a lot with the bipod, a little bit without too, but trying to utilize it, a little bit of mixing of kind of running quick sniping, sniping on the move, and then using my mount option here with the bipod. Very accurate weapon. I'm a big fan of this. I gotta level it up and use it in Warzone because I picked it up off uh, some of you guys that have been playing with like Jug and other people have dropped it for me. Um, it's not a one shot headshot, but it is a very consistent and accurate weapon, um, which is its reputation in real life. So recoil control, there's not any real recoil control with this. It's a sniper rifle. So where you aim is where it shoots. Bullet drop is gonna be, again, if you wanna look at that, use the rapid scope to see the bullet drop, but pretty clean gun. 250 BMG, and again, this thing with uh, explosive rounds, I'm not sure if that'll be a one-shot headshot. I haven't tried that. I don't know if anybody has, but uh, putting explosive rounds on it would be pretty sick also. Um, the different ammunition that comes with this. We also have guard options available here um, as well, so we can, we're can we going to be able to mess with some conversions for that also. But go ahead and look at the ammo. You have, again, 50 BMG, high grain, low grain, mono. You have uh, spire point rounds for bullet velocity and damage range, which will increase it 34% per, uh, increase on bullet velocity, frangible, armor piercing, and then you have high velocity incendiary and explosive. So these are the big boys. Damage range, uh, you can see the, the damage at range goes up by 43%. However, velocity goes down, but this potentially, I'm going to have to try this and see if it's a one-shot headshot. But this is our Kadex Tremor 50, chamber 50 BMG. Go ahead now and just jump into the gameplay with this gun again, using it as close to we would a, a real-life sniper rifle. And this particular build um, is based off of the version that was shown off from the firearmsblog.com, which I'll link that uh, article down below going into all the details for the weapon. This weapon retails for a little bit over 8,000, so it is expensive. And the parts here that they had in the blog, which we kind of replicated here, um, upwards of a total of 12,000. So it's a really nice gun. Again, the version here that we're using and they covered in the firearm blog is the 20 inch version. However, the 29 and 32 inch barrels do would obviously be available and give you a uh, bullet velocity. You can also check out on Cadex Defense, um, Dot com they have all their all these builds with the muzzle brakes everything like that so it's it's a really clean gun i'm a big fan of this thing and i wasn't really aware too aware of this until uh until i did the research when this thing was announced to see which one it was but it is a really nice gun 250 bmg the weight overall it's going to be 22.6 pounds with the rifle overall with the buttstock with which also the buttstock is a foldable buttstock which i forgot to mention so the buttstock does fold you have a 51.5 inch extended buttstock um and or a 42 inch with the buttstock uh folded so you also it's a bolt action rifle you have a 29 inch barrel 32 inch barrel or a 20 inch barrel with a 1 15th rifle barrel twist barrel thread pitch is a 1 through 14 unf you also have the rifle stock is going to be a hybrid tan black folding and the scope mount is a 40 moa top rail mount on that pick rail 
Magazine capacity is five rounds plus one in the chamber, so a total of six in real life. No iron sights available on this. Chambered in 50 BMG. Um, you also have the all the parts with this thing. Again, the, the brake come with this um, right out of the box from Kadex Defense, and all that's on the website. So it's a it's a really nice looking weapon. Big fan of this thing, and again, it's renowned for its accuracy. So it is a very accurate weapon, and the firearms, firearms blog did a lot of testing on this to uh, assess the accuracy, and it definitely lives up. It is a very, very accurate weapon, um, even with the 20-inch barrel. Very accurate. So let me know your thoughts on this weapon down below. Again, I'm really excited to kind of play with this more in Warzone and see if the explosive rounds give you a one-shot headshot or not to down people. I haven't tested that out. I don't know if anybody has, but at base, um, it's not a one-shot headshot. But maybe with the explosive rounds, it would be. But regardless, um, to the body, would would do tremendous damage. Easy break if almost not a kill. Um, so that's pretty cool. Although, the, the con there is the bullet velocity goes way down. So let me know your thoughts down below on this weapon. Have you unlocked it? Have you used it in Warzone? And have you tried it with um, the explosive rounds or the high-velocity rounds? Like, what rounds have you guys tried for the builds i'm really not staying too up to date on the meta for warzone right now kind of play with things to see what's what although um watching some people here and there and seeing what you get killed with it's pretty obvious <laughs> uh what the meta currently is but let me know your thoughts down below all the links in the description we have twitch um discord instagram twitter all that stuff is down below big shout out to our members we have a total of 11 members a couple of you guys just joined too so we have colton b Conan the Librarian, which I I love the name. Um, Vaughn Jacobs, Man Named Nobody, Asan V07, PDXJ, Ram Rapster, K Dog 350, This Justin, FPS Cannon Fodder, and Noodley Boyles. So big shout out to you guys. Thank you for all the support. Let me know your thoughts on this weapon down below. Let me know your thoughts of season one. And if you spy the optic I'm using on the Rattler down there, let me know below. Um, and let me know your thoughts about that. The next time this is buffed in game with a CDX Tremor 50. In 50 BMG to the next step up for gaming. Out. Target marked. Request fire mission. Copy. Phoenix 2-3 on approach. Strike inbound. Requesting a recon flyover. Copy. Recon is online. Saved your ass.
taking effective fire. I just said you're up. Requesting recon flyover. Copy that. You Reloading. Target marked! Request fire mission! This is Phoenix 2-3, visual on the target, strike inbound. Ten seconds remaining. Ah, 